Hi all, in this video let us discuss the SQL constraints in Odoo and how to use them. So inside my custom add-on, I have a custom model called tips and tricks. So inside these tips and tricks, I have a field called name inside which I store the name of each record. So let us see how we can give a SQL constraint for this name. So we need to just give a technical name for the constraint and uh, um, purpose behind giving this uh, constraint is to make this uh, field contain unique values. So let us define it as unique underscore name. This name is mandatory. You can give it in any ways you need. And as the second parameter, we are passing the unique as we need the value uniquely. So just give it as such unique and pass the variable name that is so the field name that is name. So um, I have passed the field name name and it should be unique. So I have passed it as unique and just give a message when this constraint is activated or in when this constraint gets called. So this name already exists will be shown whenever this constraint gets called so I'm just running this and let us try it from the front end so inside my model you can see I have two records so I am just defining a new record with a name which is already the that is sample so let us define a new record with the already given name sample and if I save it, you can see this name already exists. Since we already have a record with the name sample, our SQL constraint was called and the validation array is shown. So now when I change it to sample one, you can see the record is saved. So this is how we can call or use the SQL constraints in Odoo 14.